The National Assembly held its ordinary session under the chairmanship of Parliament Speaker Marzouk Ali Ghanem. During the session, MPs discussed ways and means of diversifying the sources of the country's national income away from oil and towards investment. Sarah Club was at the Parliament building with the details. held its ordinary session this week expedited from next week behind closed doors where MPs discussed several issues that were tabled on the agenda. Today we discussed the, you know, the, the policy of the economics at the state of Kuwait and we discussed it uh, the Ministry of uh, Finance with the presentation of uh, the team of the government. Uh, well, we have a good, good presentation but the presentation is kind of a uh, are redundant issues, repeating the same issues from different times, you know, decades, nothing new. And also the investment, the inner, the inter, uh, the inner investment and also the outside investment is the same thing, the same policy, the same uh, figures, the same numbers, without now having, you know, a clear solution for that. And I think this debate is going to be continuing if, if we don't have, you know, a clear cut for this issue. And also we don't have, you know, empirical studies and also research uh, to um, discuss and uh, to solve the, 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 the obstacles they, they are facing, you know, from different times and year after year. And it's, it's uh, jeopardizing, jeopardizing also the, the, the future of the Kuwait. And unfortunately also it's written in a poor language and also the figures was, was not that good. The transparency of that, it's in doubt. That's why we discuss it today. During the session, the Minister of Finance, Anas Al Saleh, was asked to clarify the government's policy on the national economy and diversifying sources of national income during the government's current financial situation, as well as provide the General Secretariat of the Supreme Council for Planning and Development with the plans aimed at diversifying the sources of income. Minister Al Saleh affirmed the government's keenness to sustain a decent life for citizens, its commitment to provide all the necessary requirements and to maintain a reserve for future generations. We've been speaking about all, those, all this time is the, uh, the uh, unstable structural uh, unst uh, um, budgets, the structure of the budget and where we said and clearly said that we have to revise the, the, the current expenditure in general. Among that might be uh, revising the subsidies in general and uh, keeping, sh uh, keeping in mind that there is no intention to, uh, to minimize it uh, for the medium and low wages or income uh, categories. It's only that it has to go uh, very efficiently to the needed. During the session, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Finance Khalifa Hamada said that the general revenues of the state are divided into two parts oil revenues that average 8.91%, and non oil revenues, the percentage of which amounts to 2.8%. He explained that the oil revenues amounted to 50% of the country's GDP in 2012, while non oil revenues in the same year did not exceed 4% indicating that the state has done little to promote non-oil revenues. Moreover, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Finance said the public finance cannot afford the increase of salaries and wages, noting that increasing the public treasury's contribution and growing spending on supporting oil industries and alternative technologies represents future challenges. He also said the public treasury cannot afford the huge financial burdens resulting from supporting insurance privileges for workers and clarifying that the contributions made by the Treasury towards social insurances and actuarial deficits for the financial year 2014-2015 is estimated at 3.400 million Kuwaiti dinars. Meanwhile, the National Assembly adopted a draft amendment of the housing law and raised it to the government, with 38 lawmakers voting in favour and one abstaining out of a total of 39 MPs attending the session. It's not that the final, it's going to be the first one. We have, unlike, you know, amendments and also, you know, a minor change in the, in the law, so it's, it's going to be probably tomorrow. We just approved is regarding the loan, the, you know, the loan of... Uh, having 5% or 10% for the local 
local companies in Kuwait. So. Head of the Parliament's Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Faisal El Shaya, said the amendment gives local products a 10% advantage in government projects instead of the former 5%. The Parliament also approved the formation of an investigative body that would look into breaches that affected the process of handing out agricultural land in Wafra area. Lawmakers also referred the State Audit Bureau's report on fraud accusations in the construction of the National Olympic Football Stadium to the government. The National Assembly held its ordinary session this week, which was planned for next week, due to the importance of several issues that are tabled on its agenda, namely reforming the financial sector and the national income sources to move away from the traditional oil and petroleum sectors to that of investment. The MP has also tackled housing priorities, as well as other issues. From the National Assembly building, this is Sarah Club reporting for English News.